all right welcome back in this session i'm going to be going over the mate errors okay so no matter how big of an assembly you're doing or how small it is you're always going to run into one or two mate errors especially if you're not an expert into mating uh, different uh, parts together okay there's going to be a few types of uh, mate errors and i'll be going over them in this session okay so uh, one big thing about mate errors is that they don't necessarily have to be that you're mating is wrong or how you're mating them is wrong but you can be over defining the part as well and i'll get started by going over this exercise so this is the disteco clamp that i've created earlier in this exercise and what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete these two screws so go ahead and delete these two right here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to br bring in a new one that i created alongside that same one that i have here okay so now i have two screws you can see one of them is longer than the other well let's go ahead and do this i'm going to click on mate and I'm going to go ahead and mate these two bottom surfaces together. So there now if I move one, the other one will move alongside with it. Then I'm going to mate this with this hole right here. I'm going to reverse it so you can see it on this side. And then also this cylinder with this hole right here and click on OK. And then lastly what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them all the way to the to this side. And then I'm going to mate this surface to this surface right here well this is exaggerated but say i also want to make sure that this is um, made it to here as well but because i've made it these two surfaces together the ones that are over here no matter i can't move this down without moving this down as well but sometimes when we're mating larger parts or larger assemblies we're going to forget that we've created extra mates okay we've created a mate that does not allow this when we made this surface to this surface to be, to be coincident with each other. So if I click on coincident, I'm going to get a mate error. And then I'm going to click on OK. OK to accept it and then OK to accept the mates. Now the reason I clicked on OK to accept it is because I want to show you the different mate errors. So I'm going to open up the mates over here and you're going to see two different types of errors. You're going to see the ones with a triangle on the left side with a quotation mark and one with the red circle right here with a white X and uh, on, on it. Now, if you right click on this mate, you're able to click on what's wrong over here. And SolidWorks will tell you this mate is over-defining over the assembly, which means that you've created a mate that affects the second mate, and therefore it's not going to work. Okay. Now, you are still able to use that mate when the triangle it has a quotation mark on there. So basically, you over-define it, but you're still using it. You're still It's still there. But whenever you get something with a red is a circle and a right X in the middle. If you right click and click on what's wrong, this will tell you the component cannot be moved to the position which satisfies the mate. Planar faces are not coincident. Separation distance is 0.118. Now that 0.118 is the distance between this surface and the surface. And it's basically saying that they can't be coincident because there's a distance between this surface and this surface. You've created a mate from this surface to this surface that affects this mate right here. And this screw can't move without the screw moving down as well so if you already made it these two surfaces together this surface right here can't possibly move down without the screw moving down but obviously the screw can't move down because you already made it this over here i hope i'm not losing you in this so because you can't use this that's why it shows up in error now solidworks also creates other ones these all these warnings that solidworks creates they're all based on this. Now, I already know that they're based on this because when I was creating this, everything was fine until I created the last mate and it brought up a lot of errors. Now, for this one, the best way to fix this is just go ahead and delete that mate. And you can see everything is back to normal. Now, I want to show you another type of error that might cause something to disappear. Okay, now if I click on this part, I'm going to double click on it. You're actually able to edit your part from here. Okay. Now, I already know that this part right here is the distance between the, the neck and all the way to the bottom of the screw. And this is, a, this is the entire distance of the top of the screw to the bottom without the little lo uh, dome that you have over here. Now, if I go ahead and make this bigger than this distance, let's say 0.5. Okay. Now, it won't update until I click on OK. And then I have to click on Rebuild. Remember, everything we updated in assembly, if you, if you see that little uh, sign on the left side of the assembly, that means you need to update it before you can see what's going on. Now, if I went ahead and went and updated it, SolidWorks will give you all these errors. Okay? It's going to say screw 
2 has rebuilt errors. One of the entities of the mate is suppressed and valid or lo no longer present. Now SolidWorks, what happens is that if you design a part, now I clicked OK to accept it. If you design a part and then you change something that affects the extrusion or revolve in this matter and the dome, it disappears because now the revolve and the dome inside of that screw are not valid. You, they can't be created based on the geometry we've changed. So now it says sketch is open, self-intersecting or intersected the center line. Multiple bodies not supported for the feature. Those are both features that are part of the screw. And as you can see, if I click on close, the screw is gone. Now to fix this, you need to go back. You can see that all these mate errors happen. Well, these mate errors are because if I click on it and I click on edit feature, you're going to see that it says missing face. That missing face is part of that screw that just disappeared. So that's another way you can see different mate errors over here is that um, if something disappears, if you delete uh, um, a part that is made to another part, you're going to get this missing face error. And you're going to either have to select it, delete it, and then select another face if you don't want another screw to be there. Or you're going to have to bring fix the real error that happened which made that screw disappear. So to fix that, come over here under screw number 2 and then open that up. Come down here under the revolve and dome because those are the only two features used over here. Open the sketch and then let's go ahead and change the sketch over here to see what's going on. So click on edit and then click on edit sketch. And as you can see now you're in edit sketch mode of that part but in the entire assembly. As you can see the entire assembly now uh, you can see through it and it's focused on that screw and on that uh, right there. And as you can see this this uh, shoulder right here that's supposed to be on this side is now on the other side. And as you can see now it shows up as two squares with an intersection. That's why I can't create it. So basically I need to make sure that this is a less than that. So if I change this to 10 millimeters, you're going to see now the line is on the other side of here. And now I can create my screw back up again. If I change this to 9 for example, let's go ahead and change it to 9. Click on OK. And you're going to have to click on end sketch or exit sketch before SOLIDWORKS accept it. So click on that and then click on this again. And as you can see, your screw shows up again with all the errors gone. Okay, so that's one thing about this is you need to think about what could have caused the error. Find the root cause of the error before jumping into conclusions and deleting different mates that just because they're not working at the time. A lot of people get very confused and they start deleting mates. They don't know what went wrong. And they figure if they delete the mates, then you will fix the errors. But that's not the case over here. You need to make sure that you find the error. It might be a distance. Sometimes you'll put two plates next to each other and then you align the holes and then you try to make the bottom two surfaces uh, coincident as well. And then you find out that there's an error there. And that's because one bracket at the bottom is slightly higher than the other one and you can't possibly uh, mate them together like that. So you have to figure out that it, more than likely... 99% of the time it's a design issue and then there's something wrong with the design that's what causes the mate. Other than that it's usually an overdefined part. You've overdefined it, you've created too many mates that are not necessary and it causes issues like that. And that's how uh, you go about uh, fixing uh, mates and the in the session you've learned the two t types of uh, mate errors and how to go about fixing them.